Here we are in the other end of Marquand Chapel where the Skinner organ is down front. This beautiful instrument is built by the Taylor and Booty Company of Stanton, Virginia. Uh, it is a copy of an instrument in Germany. That's one thing that's important to remember about this organ is that it was an intentional copy. Finished in 2007, uh, of course custom built for this situation, for this chapel, and, and voiced in a very, very different manner than the Skinner organ down front. For example, in the key of C major, this instrument excels in so many ways. <laughs> You might notice me with perfect pitch may notice that doesn't sound like C major because in reality it's almost a half step sharp. The instrument in Germany after which this is designed was tuned not at 440 cycles per second but at a higher pitch and again because it is exactly done as the instrument was there. So those of you with perfect pitch could tell that was almost in C sharp as I was playing. This instrument is tuned in what is called mean tone, quarter comma mean tone. And rather than get into the scientific parts of it, which I myself don't exactly understand, uh, I can simply tell you that certain keys are more pure in their tuning than on an equal tempered organ or piano or other instrument. There are actually two parts to some of these sharps. We call this split keys. In the mean tone temperament system, uh, there is a difference in D sharp and E flat. Now, on the piano, we know that the E flat and D sharp are the same note. But in the tuning system that results, you actually have to use different ones. So you'll note, at one point when I'm playing, I have to use this upper note to get the sharp that I want. Because if I use this one, in fact, I'll show you in a moment how the chord works. Let's say I'm going to play a B major chord. Watch what I do. Now, I'm going to use the other sharp. Listen to what happens. Obviously, it's sharp to that note, isn't it? So there we go. There we have a B major. Let me give you a little bit of the tune blame horn that I played down front. So that when I get to that B major chord in that, I have to use that other one. Uh, this organ is laid out, it's encased in a case in the classical sense. The great or the Hauptwerk and the pedal are in the main case that are here in front of me. Behind me is what's called the Rook Positive. It has its very own case. It's on the gallery rail of the chapel. Sounds very prominently in the room and because of the style of this organ, the Rook Positive is as large, if not larger, than the Hauptwerk or the great itself. Then there is a tiny, small division right in front of me here, above my head, called the Brustwerk, in which there are some very gently voiced stops. And a very, very um, pungent, what we call quarter length or eighth length read in this case, I believe. So, beautiful instrument, uh, sings in the room in a very, very different way than the Skinner organ does. And we are extremely fortunate to have both of these instruments that we can compare the two different styles of building.